Building a home projection show can be a time-consuming but rewarding experience. Now that we've completed our templates in the previous series of videos, it's time to take a look at some of the fundamental build techniques you can use to create your own show, using DaVinci Resolve. Please note that if you have not completed a template using the previous set of tutorials, you will need to go back and complete that series first before tackling this one. To start off, we have a little bit of review and prep work to do first, so let's jump right into it. Building a home projection show begins by importing your house masking template. On the project panel, right-click and select Import Project. Select the file that contains your exported template and click Open. When prompted, rename this to something descriptive of the show you intend to build. Since I'll be using a lot of Boo Crew decorations for this, I'm just going to name it after that. Now that our template is loaded, let's review a few things. First, let's look at the project settings. This template has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and runs at a frame rate of 29.97 frames per second. Of course yours may be different, and that's okay. The point is that it is important to remember your template settings. While this is the template I created during the first tutorial, it is kind of small for what I want to show you in this series of videos, so I'm going to artificially enlarge this template for visibility purposes. It means I won't be able to do live shots of the show we build, but it's more important for you to be able to see the result here. Now, let's review our media pool setup from the template building series, and then we will expand on it. Within our media pool, we have several bins that are nested under the master bin, along with our original masking files, and the timelines used to build our templates. The assets folder contains video, audio, and image folders where we can place assets that could be used multiple times in a show. If it helps avoid confusion, you can rename this bin to multi-use if you desire. Next we have our Scenes bin, which will contain several more bins, one for each scene we intend to build, and within each of those, another set of media folders. The Workshop and Junk Pile bins will sort of work hand in hand with each other, and we will explore both of those bins a bit more in the next video. Now that we've laid out some of the media pool bins, let's see how this relates to a folder structure stored on our computers. Here I have a folder that contains all of the digital decoration assets I've obtained over the years. They are all stored in a central folder since they can be used in all sorts of different shows. Since I'm going to use the Boo Crew decorations for this tutorial, let's pick one out to be our main asset for the first scene we are going to build. One of the trio videos where they sing a song would be a good choice here, so let's import one of those. To keep organized, open the Scene 1 bin, then, the Video bin. Drag the video into the bin, and now going forward, you know exactly where that asset is stored in your media pool. We will also need some images to create a backdrop for this scene, which gives us a good excuse to look at the folder structure you can use for specific projects. Here we have a set of folders for storing project-specific assets, and you can see they are laid out similar to what we've set up in our media pool bins. We have scene and multi-use folders, each with audio, video, and image folders to hold assets that will be specific to the associated scene. We will discuss the final renders folder in a future tutorial. For this project, I've created an AI-generated image using the Photo Leap app that I intend to use for several scenes. So it has been stored on my computer in the multi-use images folder. Therefore, it will get stored in the media pool bin of the same name. You might ask yourself if it's necessary to copy something like the Boo Crew assets into the specific project folder. This is not needed and I'd recommend against it. It will just increase the used storage on your computer and would not have any benefit for you. Feel free to keep your purchased digital decorations in a separate, common folder for use in any show you build. One final trick you can use with this structure is importing the folders as bins in the media pool, so you technically only have to create them once. Let's select the folders for Scene 2 and 3, then drag them over to the media pool and hover over the top-level Scenes bin. If done correctly, they will be added as new bins, and any subfolders, along with any assets they contain, will be imported into the media pool. We are almost ready to start our build, but there is one more topic I'd like to cover before we do. So in the next tutorial, we will be taking a deep dive look at how to handle mismatched frame rates.
be sure not to skip that one because it is a critical topic that you need to know. See you next time.